Hey everybody, what's up? I hope you're having a great day. So today I want to make something different because of this specific reason. My computer, my gaming computer is dead and now I'm using my crappy laptop. I connected everything on my laptop and I'm trying to work something out here because I was finally able to upload more videos and then bam 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 bam, computer dies. So. It's not fair for me, it's not fair for you either, so I'm coming up with this sort of solution that is to do some more video logs, more vlogs and show you a little bit of my life and what's going on. Of course that I can't show you everything, some details I will be able to share with you soon but not yet. So this video is going to be about explaining what happened to my computer and talking about a few side projects that I am working on and let's start with the computer. So if you follow me on Facebook around August this year I made a post telling you guys that my computer died but that wasn't really the case because I could um, I was able to make everything work again by disassembling everything and putting everything back together every once in a while you should do that with your computer even though my computer was not showing any image the lights would turn on the hard drive would start to read Everything was working fine except there was no image. So I tried everything, it wasn't fixing it until I remembered to disassemble everything, clean the dust, and assemble it back together and it was working. But a few weeks ago I started having problems, some sort of power related problem. I actually thought it was the power supply unit at the start because I would turn on my computer and it would take ages to boot up to Windows, sometimes half an hour. And I took my computer to a store and they told me that the problem was the motherboard. So I had had three options. Because I'm using an old system, these types of motherboards are no longer being sold in Portugal. This is an old socket, 1155, and if I want a new board, I have to order one from outside the country. So that is option number one. And I don't want to do that because these types of expensive things, I want to be able to go to a store, a physical store, talk directly to someone and solve the problems. I don't want to do that over an email. Imagine that I order a, a motherboard from a store uh, from outside Portugal and then it comes with it comes with a with a flaw. Then I'm gonna have to send an email, I'm gonna send the board back to whatever it came from, wait for their answer and meanwhile it's been weeks. So I don't want to do that. The other option is to look for a used motherboard which I also don't want to do because there is no warranty and if something happens it could, it, it could damage other parts of my computer. So that's a huge gamble, a gamble that I'm not willing to take. So the third and final option is obviously the most expensive one which is getting a new system that requires a motherboard, a CPU and more RAM. So that's an investment that I'm not ready to do right now uh, so it's gonna be a while before I get my gaming PC back on. Hopefully it won't be that long but I'm guessing at least a month, maybe two months. I don't know. So basically that's what's going on. But like I said, I connected everything, everything to the laptop. It's not capable of running any games but it's capable of editing videos. Videos that I'm gonna be making through video log. So that's basically what's happening with my computer. Now, um, again, I'm sorry, this is out of my control. There's nothing I can do, trust me. I would uh, have a new computer, a computer by tomorrow if I could, but I can't. So that aside, let's focus on the other project that I have. So you guys know that I love animals and I've been surrounded with pets all my life. And um, right now we have April here living with us, but uh, that doesn't mean that we can't have other uh, pets as well. Actually, we can't right now. And I can't tell you why specifically, but we just can't. What I can do is help other pets around the world, around the country or around my neighborhood, which happens to have a few stray cats that need feeding, need fresh water, and above all, they need a shelter. Because food and fresh water, Luckily, the, our neighbors have been kind enough to give them that. But what they need now that winter is coming, Game of Thrones reference there, is a winter shelter. Because even though we live in Portugal, it can be quite cold here during the winters. So what I did was to build this winter shelter. It's not perfect, so I'm not looking for any Nobel Prize in terms of design, but whatever. As long as it works, I guess I'm fine with it. So. I basically cut a, an opening in the front of this box and I got another smaller box inside this one with uh, 
also with another opening, and between both boxes I filled it with cardboard and other stuff to isolate both the sound and the temperature, hopefully it's gonna be uh, warmer inside of this box. And I'm also gonna throw inside this fluffy, um, I don't know what to call this, but it's definitely warm and fluffy and I think the cat is gonna love it. My only concern now is that people are gonna do something bad with this because this is gonna be on the outside, this is gonna be on a public garden outside our house um, where lots of people move uh, in and out and I'm afraid that someone is gonna be doing something stupid like stealing the box or hurting the cat while he's inside. I don't want to be focusing too much on the negative side of things but it's something that I need to talk and to think about. It was actually my wife that brought this um, to my attention. Well, what if the kitty is inside, people realize that and like kick the box or take the box or just hurt him, hurt him somehow, like they know he's inside and they can, st uh, can put a stick through the entrance and hurt the cat while he's inside. I don't know, there's a lot of stupid people out there. I did give him an old smaller shelter that belonged to April, but that's not enough. The cat is still exposed to cold. It's not as bad as what happened before because before I opened the window and I saw this kitty sleeping in the cold like in the middle of the garden with no shelter whatsoever that broke my heart so I took something that April wasn't using and luckily he is using that so it's not that bad but for me it's not enough because the worst has yet to come it's gonna get a lot more colder um, hopefully he's gonna use this shelter and people are not gonna be stupid about it in a few minutes I'm gonna take out the garbage and I'm gonna show you where he's currently living and what I intend to do with it Estava a dormir. So as you guys could see, the, his food tray was not there. Someone took it. Makes no sense because the water tray was still there. So I'm guessing someone took the empty food tray to fill it up and I just happened to go there while uh, that person um, had the food tray in his possession. His or her, I don't know. So, but just to be, sh to be sure, I'm gonna use this uh, coffee card box. I'm cutting this. And this is gonna be a temporary food tray, food tray for him. People often go walk with their dogs there. I'm afraid the dogs can steal the cat's food, so I'm not gonna put much. Usually food lasts a lot of time, which means that he's ne definitely not hungry, because if he was hungry, he would eat everything. Regardless, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this down there right now. So there you go guys, hopefully you enjoyed this content, I'm gonna keep doing more video logs until I get my computer running, hopefully you enjoyed it, let that feedback flow in, I want this to be as best as possible and uh, I'll keep you posted, thanks for watching and see you soon, cheers!